What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So Halloween Ends has had its world premiere at Beyond Fest last night and I'm going to be going over some of these early reactions which are pretty mixed. Uh, so I've seen some more negative ones honestly than positive. But someone here said coming out of the premiere it was the most different Halloween movie. Some of you like it, some of you will not, but I liked it though. Halloween is my favorite horror movie series and it was nice farewell to this franchise. I think so. Halloween Ends, thank you. So... You know, they didn't really say much in there, but there were some other things that came out. Now, you're not going to be seeing too many reactions unless you're seeing them from fans. You're not if you're looking for like official critics, you won't hear anything from that crowd until Thursday, because I've already told you guys I can't even put out my review until Thursday afternoon. Um, so I'm seeing the movie later tonight on Wednesday, but I can't put out my review until Thursday afternoon around 3 p.m. Eastern. Here's another thought from someone else who saw the movie at Beyond Fest. They said Halloween Ends is a lot. It's the anti-H2O. That movie is so lean it doesn't have time for subplots. Ends has a zillion things going on at once, all of them interesting on their own, but mashed together it just feels like a ton of stuff without forward momentum. So. You know, that's some things I've heard from other people on Letterboxd mentioning how the movie kind of feels like it has no momentum, how it's kind of abandoning things that were done in the last two movies by, by the simple fact that the characters feel as though they're in a new alternate timeline, even though it's a part of the same timeline that we were just introduced to in 2018. Now, another individual who I, I've seen seen a lot of his reviews on YouTube, so I enjoy his videos. He said Halloween Ends was, a, was every bit as bloody gruesome as I hoped it would be. The star-crossed love lover storyline was sluggish but holy f the lawyer versus michael final battle was epic badass and satisfying jamie lee curtis has still got it now we have another couple of reactions that i'm going to go over here this one here i did find this to be the funniest just because i'm like there's no way this movie can be this bad but maybe it is they said halloween ends is a baffling installment taking the series in truly head-scratching territories which are not only poorly executed but also disregards prior installments i have a feeling fans of this series are going to hate this they also pointed out again how the review embargo does not lift until thursday at 3 p.m eastern so my whole thing here with this i'll share my thoughts on what i think a lot of this might be stemming from um after I get through this last one, so far though, I do think it has to do with again what many of us thought was how they execute the Corey storyline. So one last person said that Halloween ends ties the bow in a satisfying, well-earned resolution. Jamie Lee will forever be a force to be reckoned with. Carpenter and Cole slay the score, takes a bold swing plot-wise, but stick the landing with the strolled story. Shades of Christine and the Lost Boys. So I'm gonna share my thoughts on what i think is going on so far with halloween ends and these reactions i've seen people say and remind everyone hey you know go into the movie for yourself and you should do that don't don't pay attention to the negative reviews remember to remember to go in for yourself have your own opinion and come out of the movie and join it if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy you just didn't enjoy it let everyone enjoy what they enjoy or let everyone not enjoy what they don't enjoy However, I never see this energy when it relates to things being overly positive. If Halloween Ends was getting overly positive across the board, you would not be having this. You would not be having these public service announcements where people feel the need to remind you that you need to form your own opinion on the movie. It always happens when the movies are bad or at least being perceived bad from the early reactions that are coming out. Now, I've had seen some other people chime in about Halloween Ends that don't really seem to be all that positive either. Either, although you can't find them out there the fact that people again only do this when it relates to a movie being received negatively tells you a lot you should not only do that when it's received negatively you should go into you go into these movies for yourself when they're also being received positively because at the end of the day your opinion should be the only one that matters should it not i mean if you're someone who wants to, in terms of your own viewing experience should it not be the only opinion that matters? Now, of course, if you want to share opinions online, then you might be opening yourself up for people to tear apart your opinion and maybe give yourself a chance to defend it, which some people really don't like to do at all. But uh, when it comes to these reactions, I'm seeing other people saying that the first two thirds of the movie are so bad that they thought they were being pranked now this is coming from someone over on letterbox now they also say that there's a new mythology to michael myers to introduce that's introduced that makes no sense at all it's never explained and the characters again they feel like parallel replicas of the characters we knew from 2018 and kills because they're not pushing forward with some of the stuff that i guess was established in those last two movies even though i think for myself when i see it I, i'll see the opposite um corey cunningham 
seriously might just be the biggest problem. What they decided to do with Corey might be the biggest problem. If there's some sort of mythical connection between Michael and Corey, that might also be a problem. Or it just might be the simple fact of the matter. Again, I really never really thought about this too much and discussed it in a video in depth. Maybe it's just the fact that people aren't convinced that Michael Myers would be willing to work with somebody like this. Because he seems to be willingly working with Corey. As much as I think that Corey is just bringing people to the sewers or wherever Michael is and keeping a distance from the shape, it seems that he might actually just full on throttle be working with the boy, which might be a turnoff to some people who initially think that, hey, why aren't you killing this boy? And then they might find that to be out of character for the shape. So, you know, I will say this these reactions they do not make or break my excitement for the movie my excitement for the movie was already very timid i would say at best only because the stuff that was being disclosed about the movie was not a turn on i've always had in my mind that the strongest assets about this movie that i'm certain will still be the strongest assets after i see it tonight will be the performances the visual aesthetics and John Carpenter's score. Now that's three things that this movie would have going for it. I would have to see what else they can do because I'm certain something regarding the arcs I will still find to be positive. If the writing in some capacity can at least make it seem like all the characters have their own functioning brains and their own individual thought process, then that'll be an improvement there dialogue wise. Because with Halloween Kills, everyone seemed to have one, everyone seemed to just have this overly uh, cringe collective mindset where they only had two words of dialogue evil dies or three words evil dies tonight tonight dies you know it's just it, like it's also there were times where they're just kind of breaking it apart and have people say those words singularly to end a sentence or start a sentence it's like bro can we get these three words out of here and then they come together for this evil dies tonight so in some way the dialogue can at least make it seem like everyone is their own individual that would be a plus for me in terms of an improvement writing wise but ultimately i'm glad jamie lee curtis got her proper send-off because i do think that this is obviously going to be leaps and bounds better than the send-off she got for resurrection but these reactions are not something that i think should be just ignored just because you want to like the movie you can still like the movie and admit it had a lot of flaws if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. This movie is also apparently supposed to have like a $50 million opening weekend. So that is very impressive, and I hope they actually exceed that. But with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.